Hi and welcome to this presentation, uh, Useful Websites for Practicing Speaking. Um, I'm going to take you through um, a few different websites and uh, hopefully this will be useful for your learners. So it's interesting to think how important is speaking. For most learners, speaking often comes as the number one priority. They may have learnt English reading and writing in school but they haven't done much speaking and listening. So often this is a really high priority for people. Occasionally, you know, sometimes if you've got people who are interested in academic English, for example, then maybe the reading and writing is more important. But very, very often speaking comes as a high priority for people. So then the question is, how can learners get practice? Now, if they're living in an English-speaking country, in theory, it should be quite easy. Um, perhaps they live with English-speaking people. Perhaps they work with English-speaking people. In theory, they can go down the pub and, and chat at, at will. Um, maybe they have an English-speaking boyfriend or girlfriend. That's often <laughs> a good way to learn. So um, there are lots of possibilities, at least in theory. If you're living in your own country, then it's very likely that the only practice you get is the hour or two or three or four or whatever that you have in the classroom per week. It's incredibly likely that's the only time you get to speak English. Um, so obviously that's not very much time in a week and a language requires practice. So. Learners often find, even if they're living in an English speaking country, that it's difficult to get practice speaking. Um, as I say, even if they're surrounded by the language, perhaps they don't have many friends, perhaps they're living in a community of people speaking their own language, you know, feeling a bit homesick or something, it's very, very common that that's the case. Um, so, you know, it's not only learners who are in their home countries that may have a problem with this. So here are the tools that I'm going to show you today. Um, Vokaroo, Voki, Mailview and Present Me. Actually, I'm not going to show you Booker. I'm going to show you that um, next time when I look at uh, websites to help them write because that's a really good one for that. And instead, we'll talk about Brainshark, which is this one. This is the, the first tool I want to look at, Vokaroo. This is a great tool in that it's completely, completely simple. The simplicity of it is what makes it wonderful, I think. Um, you simply log on to vokaroo.com and this is what you'll see. It's a very, very simple interface. You just does do exactly what it says on the tin. Click to record and you need a microphone for this. Um, but if you click to record, it will record your voice. And then it will say click to stop and you stop. Um, and once you've done that, you can then choose to send it to uh, a friend by email, to yourself by email, simply by putting your email address in and somebody else's email address in. You can also um, embed the Vokaroo, I think, I have to check that, <laughs> onto a um, onto a blog, but you can certainly email it to somebody. So it's really easy for your students. You can give them a task, for example, maybe you've been doing something in class about describing their family or something. So you've done the, the work in class, then you can ask them to go to this site at home, describe their family, they can click and record and listen to it and re-record as many times as they like, and when they're happy with the finished product, then they can send it to you as an email. It doesn't come as a great big file, so it doesn't block up, um, you know, it doesn't block up emails either. It just comes as a, a URL, as a link. So you can then link to it, and you can listen to what they say, and perhaps record them a vocaroo back to uh, as a as a reply. So why do I think this good? I think it's good because it's free, <laughs> and because it's really, really easy to use. I think even if you have very little computer confidence, then this is so super easy that really people will be able to use it. Um, it'll depend, I guess, on how computer literate your learners are. 
Um, I've heard people where they've had classes of Japanese students who've loved this and recorded a lot and it's really encouraged the shyer learners to participate as well. Um, in classes I've had, people haven't always wanted to take it up. I think it's just the idea of taping yourself you know, is, is not always, it's a bit alien to people maybe. Um, but I think you know it is super easy to use and it's the easiest of all, all these tools for sure so that's why I really like it. Uh, limitations is that it has a five minute limit um, although I'm not sure that really is a limitation because I think for anybody to speak for five minutes um, even a native speaker to speak for five minutes as a monologue is, is a very very long time um, so maybe that isn't a limitation but it's worth knowing um, and of course you do need a microphone as with all of these tools actually. Um, you can, a lot of laptops will have built-in microphone, um, you can buy them very very cheaply, a headset costs about £10 so they're not expensive, um, but you will need a microphone. The next tool I want to show you is called Voki. Um, this is a similar kind of idea, effectively it's just a voice recorder but you create a little avatar which is quite motivating. Um, so here's the, uh, the, the initial screen that you'll see if you go to Voki.com. It's free um, and you make an avatar and then add your voice to it. So here's what the next screen looks like. You can see here that when you click on to the create a, an avatar, you will. this is the screen you'll get up, so you'll have this little avatar. Now you can't see this because it's a slide, but actually that gruff looking man um, where it says Voki in the middle will be looking around the page. So he's kind of looking around as if he's just sitting there and looking around and that's rather, rather fun. Um, you can see at the top that there are buttons that say customize your character. So where there's the, the first one on the left you can choose different characters, so you can choose different faces. There are faces of men, faces of women, uh, faces of children, faces of animals, dogs and various things. So there's quite a lot of choice. Once you've done that, the next one along obviously is clothes, so you can change what they're wearing. Um, you can also change the background. Um, you can change their eyes, their nose, the various features. Um, you can make them longer, smaller, you know, longer nose, shorter nose, all that sort of thing. So there's quite a lot of scope to to tweak what the people look like. You can see underneath the um, picture of that man with the hat, it says tweak and colour. Um, so you can change colour of skin, eyes, hair, etc. Um, and you can make things as say longer, shorter, bigger, fatter, wider. So there's quite a lot of choice there. When you're happy with that, and you're, you've got the avatar that you that you want, you then need to give it a voice. Um, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. So you can see in that middle screen where it says give it a voice. The telephone is an option. I haven't tried that. It is an American number, so I'm guessing it will cost international rates. So that's probably, unless you live in America, probably not an option. Um, the second option is interesting. You can actually type a message. So you don't need a microphone for this one. You can type a message and it will read the message for you. You can also choice, choose there whether you have um, you can choose whether you have an American accent, a British accent, I think a Scottish accent, whether it's a man or a woman. So you've got a bit of choice you know to uh, to change that as well and then the third option which I think is probably the most useful one um, is uh, using a microphone so that you can record your voice but of course again you do need a microphone for that um, but that's probably the easiest option and that's the third one so you click on the microphone button and it'll give you an option to record your voice um, the fourth one is to upload uh, a recording from from a file. Um, actually you can see there at the bo back bottom you can have different backgrounds as well um, and I think that players is number of players where you can have more than one person I think. 
So once you've done all of that, you, you as I say, record your voice, and then at the bottom it says publish. And again, once you've published it, you can either email it to somebody, or you can get a code and then take it and embed it in a blog or a, um, on a website, if, if, if you have one of those. Um, so again, it's quite nice that you can take this and do something else with it, or as I say, you can email it to your teacher. So why do I think this is good to use? Again, it's free, nobody's having to pay for anything, which is always nice. It's very easy to use. Um, clearly there's more to do than there is with the um, with the Bokaroo tool, but, um, but it is very easy to use. It's very self-explanatory. Um, I think it's quite entertaining um, and therefore maybe motivating particularly possibly for younger learners but actually also older learners I've had a you know a lot of uh, adults who've, who've enjoyed doing this I enjoyed doing it and it's quite quite fun to choose your own avatar and to um, you know change things around a little bit so that's really nice um, the other good thing is of course you can embed it as I said before on a blog or a website you have the embed code and you can do that as well if you want to as well as email it which is the easiest thing limitations of this one um, there's just a one minute limit on it uh, so it's not very long not as long as Vokaroo where you've got five minutes you've only got one minute here again whilst that isn't very long actually to speak a monologue a minute's probably long enough in honesty so um, I don't think that's so terrible but it is again worth knowing I think the other thing really is that is, is the difficulty of this thing is that making the avatar can become more time consuming than the language practice so it's really easy to get very engrossed in fiddling around making your avatar because that is very motivating um, so uh, you can that, that might take take more time but having said that you know it's uh, it, if it motivates people then to to do some language practice hopefully it, it is worth it but it's worth thinking about so this is the, the next tool that I want to look at um, this is again they're all very similar kind of tools they're all different takes on a, the same sort of idea here um, this one's called mail view um, it's, it's mail.view.com. The the uh, website address is on the, the the first the other slide, so you should be able to to get that. Um, this is a really nice tool. It's again very very straightforward. Essentially, what you're doing is sending in a video email to people. So with Vokaroo, you're just sending an audio email with MailView you're sending a video email um, again super easy to use this is what the, uh, the the interface looks like when you first come onto it it's free you can all you do is click where it says click record and send it it, it really is as simple as that it does of course require that you have a webcam um, because you know it's, it's a video, <laughs> um, but a lot of laptops have got webcams, um, uh, or you know they've got built-in webcams, um, and you know webcams they're not expensive to buy anyway. But uh, but it does require that, so that might be a reason your learners don't want to to use this. Um, but as I say, it's very very easy. Uh, you click on this and then you can see where it says here record so you click on the record button talk 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 you can play it back so that you can check that you're happy with the way that it's that it looks and when you're happy you can um, send it or share it and again you can share it with Facebook Twitter whatever um, so all of that is is very straightforward reasons I like it again it's free all of these sites are free it's very easy to use um, I think for some people it may seem more personal than just a voice recording you know if you can actually see 
your voice, you can see the facial expressions, you've got other paralinguistic features, it's maybe easy.